Hello everyone, FunshineX here, and this is episode 3 of my Utopia Cubed <laughs> uh, server play. Uh, I am in the hive, which is now actually a beehive, believe it or not. Finally, I've got bees going on here. That was the objective, it just took a long time, but we're getting bees. So first I'm going to show you around all the changes that I made, and then we'll get into bees, and we're going to start doing extra bees, something I have zero experience in, other than watching some videos on. Uh, so it could, should be some good comedy, it should be uh, ho hopefully entertaining and uh, informative as well. So let's get going. Uh, this is the hive, I don't think it's changed much from the outside, uh, but you do note I can fly. <laughs> uh, yep, that's because I have power armor. Um, if you uh, I've used the Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack. You're aware that they have enabled both the Greg Tech recipes and the vanilla recipes. I think that was a mistake on their part. Uh, they forgot to do it, or there was just too many complaints about it. And But I, they should have at least put IC2 or Thermal Expansion recipes. Vanilla recipes, it was just... Uh, it's a piece of cake to make all these things. So, you can see all my uh, stuff is just decked out with everything pretty much there is. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, one thing I do want to show really quick is something that bugged me, I think, on both series, my uh, Utopia series and on the Ultimate Artisan series, is sometimes when you use this guy, it, uh, it just takes forever to, cry, um, to break things. Right now it's actually working pretty well. Um, but you might think you're off the ground, but you could be just a little bit off, you know? <laughs> or you might think you're standing on the ground, but your power, uh, your jetpack might make you fly just a little bit. I mean, it looks like I'm on the ground, but look at that, took a long time to break. Um, so if that's the case, you just need to turn flight control and jetpack off, and then it's just, you know, super fast. So that's just something I, I didn't realize. I was like, my power tool is just worthless, it's taking forever, and it's because I was flying and didn't realize it. So that's quick tip for the day. Let's go into the house. Okay, let's take a right turn here. That's all IC2 hasn't changed here. Uh, nothing really has changed in this room, right? So let's go upstairs. Uh, if you've watched um, Nemsum uh, play or some of the other guys, you saw that we did a big adventure, Miscraft. I created them a bunch. Uh, I guess I was the Miscraft expert for the day, uh, which is a little bit comical because um, I did do a tutorial on it, but I'm still... Uh, learning how to make the best stable biomes, but uh, we created some great uh, great worlds. We explored. We got a ton of pages. Uh, we're just about. We have most of the pages um, that you can get, uh, at least enough to make a stable world. Our end goal there was to get enough pages to make a stable lava world. So we're going to have a single biome ocean lava world. Uh, where we can just put a couple pumps, um, uh, liquid tesseracts, and everybody can get their lava from that age instead of having multiple pumps and chunk loaders in the, in the nether, which is causing some lag on the server. So, uh, yeah, so I went um, and made copies of all the uh, pages that we got from those adventures, and so I've got pretty much everything there. Uh, some jukeboxes because we found some records while we were adventuring. Nothing on that level yet, so let's go straight across here. I really like this hive uh, feet, um, multi tier <laughs> structure because you see I've got uh, these hexagons, and the way they work is I've got the flat level, so I can just go straight through. I can go down, and I can go up on every level. So once I'm here, I can go down, I can go straight across, or I can go up. Um, sometimes you get lost because all the rooms start to look the same, but I might color code them with different color wood or something, I don't know. Uh, I kind of get, you just kind of get used to where everything is. Uh, my bio is completely full, as well as my biofuel. So that's pretty cool. Just one single, oh no, I've got two stills. Uh, has been filling that up. I'm, I haven't used this as all, at all. I'm not really doing anything with it. Uh, so let's keep going over here. I've got a turtle charging station. Um, this was very simple to build. It was just some batteries and... Some, I don't know, it was very easy. I've got the, the two output version, so this is working off medium voltage. And uh, you just put a turtle down, you know, wherever. I can actually show it work. Let's grab a turtle here. And he's just going to refuel. So if we look at, we don't need, you don't have to type, type this, I'm just doing it to see. But right now he's at 83,000 and 83,400. So he had 100 fuel just in those couple seconds. Um, and he's using just some energy here. 
and you can see it'll it'll slowly decrease if you've got two on there because uh, it does output medium voltage uh, but yeah so i've got one of my turtles has like a hundred thousand fuel now I, I don't know i basically just leave them there when i'm not using them and just you know kind of leave two of them there they'll refuel got tons of room in this area i don't know what i'm going to use it for uh, this room is where my biogas engines are, or bio... I forget. Yeah, biogas. I was right. Okay, cool. And let's go up a level. This is that big empty room I still have plenty of room for. And here's my bees. Hooray, bees. Yay. Oh, I need some wood. Uh, let's start over here. I've got a centrifuge, and it's being fed with my AE system, so exporting all the combs and propolis that I'm getting into the hopper, I don't really need the hopper, but it just keeps uh, lots of stuff out of my AE system. I'd rather have it here than clogging up my system. And you can see I've got tons. I'm completely full and all that. So it's centrifuging, and then I've got an import bus here that's pulling everything back out into the AE system. Uh, here I've just got a, a squeezer. I've just been, um, I've got a, a seed farm up on the roof. And I just harvest it every once in a while, put seeds. So nothing automated there yet. Uh, that will be automated soon. I'll have a similar system with an export bus, a hopper, and then take the seed oil out behind the wall. There's some liquidux, and it's putting it in here uh, to make me some uh, impregnated sticks from the seed oil. And then I just go ahead and take those sticks, and I throw them in here to get some frames. And you can see I've got tons of string. And then over here, I've got another one that'll make me uh, apiaries if I give it casings. So everyone saw I just changed the recipe here to be a casing recipe instead. Uh, I built this block, um, the analyzer, but I ha I'm not using it. I'm not pumping any honey into it or anything. It's just kind of sitting there. Uh, I'll put this in some kind of automation assembly line later, maybe in this room. Who knows? And uh, I've got an acclimatizer. Um, I took a rocky princess that already had both two, and I've just been trying to hydrate it and uh, use the thermal or the temperature modifiers to get it up to both four. Not having any luck on the temperature, but um, I'm trying to get them up to both four. Uh, these are the medium tier blocks here. So I've got the gene pool, and I'm just putting in all my extra drones. Uh, I'll go show you where I'm getting all these drones later, uh, but I just wanted to get a good supply of liquid DNA. And so that's filling up this tank there. Um, these two blocks I read, they're kind of deprecated. You don't really use them anymore, but I built them anyway. Uh, the sequencer, I can basically get, kind of make a pattern. So if I put a bee here, like a forest bee, it will make me a pattern to make a forest bee. And then I can change a, another bee into a forest bee or something like that. Uh, but it only really works on kind of like the, the base forestry bees, none of the special ones or the mutated ones. So. Uh, it isn't you really useful unless unless you have like say a ton of meadows bees and you can't find any uh, jungle bees in the whole world which was the case in my <laughs> in my experience I could not find any jungle bees uh, if you notice my mistcraft down there I had a jungle book on there because I had to create a single biome jungle age just to get jungle bees uh, so I probably could have used this sequencer to get the uh, jungle bee pattern and then changed a bunch of my modest bees or forest bees into jungle bees uh, but I didn't I just went and created a miscraft age uh, and then this is that splicer how you can actually change them once you have the pattern um, you can see I really haven't gone too far um, I was lucky and I got a uh, cultivated and a valiant um, just out of pure luck on a, a beehive um, this is my indexer. This is, I think I told you guys about this before, but use a storage bus from AE and it will make all of your bees in your indexer available in your AE system. So uh, I need to move this back closer to the wall. Um, and then I'm going to put a uh, terminal right here so that I can access my bees and pull them out when I need them rather than using this crazy interface. Because uh, once you have a billion bees in here, it's hard to find the one you want. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to move that back. I didn't want to do it now because it's got so many bees in it would make a mess. And then here I've started to get my higher tier machines. So you take the isolator, put bees in here, and that'll give you your serums. Then you take the serums and you synthesize them to give them more charges. And then you take those and you purify them to get better quality. And then I still need to build an inoculator to actually add the serum to the bee. 
And then I've got my tank. So that's my bee room so far. I've got some honey up there for my beelizer. I usually just keep it right up there. And when I need honey, I can get some there. Um, quickly show you some things just if you're not familiar with a lot of bees is uh, if bees that have the same trait um, will stack even if you don't know what they are. So these 64 bees, I don't know, they're unknown. I haven't been an analyzed them yet, but they're all the same because they're stacking. And when you put them in the beelizer, you can actually get, watch, I've got 62 honey. I can analyze them all for one honey. So that's a pretty good, pretty good deal. And then when you put them in this guy, the gene pool, you get more DNA if they're analyzed. So I've always, I've been analyzing them before I throw them in there, just a stack at a time. Really unautomated manual steps for now. Uh, but yeah, so I think we're going to use these three machines plus the inoculator. Um, I won't be using the inoculator, I guess, this episode because I need royal jelly. And that's going to take a little bit to get. And then, but once I get the royal jelly, I can do the inoculator, I can do alvearies, I can have a lot of fun. Let's go check out. Oh, I got a portal gun. Found it in a uh, in a chest in one of the Miscraft Ages. I've been tinkering. Um, oh yeah, I've got some stuff down here. Uh, this pretty much hasn't changed. Uh, I've got the IO drive. I don't know if you guys have used that before, but you can take. Uh, sometimes your storage just gets all messed up. Like you've got. Uh, see, this one's full, but it didn't use all the types. Where's a better example? Sometimes, yeah, like this one, it used all my types, but it's not really full yet. And if I take it out over here, whoa, don't lose that, where is it? Okay, I can just put it in this chest just to see what's in it. And you can see I've got like, uh, where's a good example of something? A cobblestone structure pipe. I'm never going to have more than one of those probably, you know. Uh, and it's taking up one of my types, even though I, and, and, you know, so I probably just pull that guy out of there. And now I've got another type left here. Um, the I.O. port, you can say, take everything off on this drive and just try and transfer it into the storage system. And it will take everything off. Or you can say, fill it up. Um, you know, and that's good when you create a new storage system. Um, let me show you this one. Try to give you some AE tips that I've learned. This one I've formatted, and this is kind of my uh, things I have tons of. Fifty-eight thousand charcoal. <laughs> that's I left my Steve Cart system running for a couple days, and I came back to that. Uh, yeah. Um, so these are the things that I have the most of in my system. Blaze rods I don't because I burn them all up, but a lot of times I do have tons of blaze rods. So I built this storage, 16K storage, and then I formatted it, but everything on it was on different drives, right? They're all spread out, but I wanted everything to be copied over. So use the IO port, um, use the arrow in the transfer to storage direction and put this guy in here and it'll pull out everything that's on the other disks if they can fit on this disk, which is cool. That way it opened up all my other ones to have other stuff on them. So I don't, I don't have cobble on all these other ones. The cobble's all over there. So that's how you can maximize your storage um, on AE. Just get rid of all this junk here. And go ahead and go downstairs because this has expanded a little bit. I'm not sure if I showed you this before, but I moved. I put my uh, uh, lava into some generators just to generate some more IC2 power because I was... Uh, uh, running out of um, blaze rods to burn in my generators, uh, but now that I've got so much charcoal, uh, you can see I'm nope, putting either charcoal or blaze rods in here, and it's burning my charcoal pretty much full time. But with 40 or 80 some 50 some sta thousand stacks of charcoal, I don't think I run out. And this goes up to that charging station for my turtles. Uh, this system here gets me bog earth. I think I think I already showed that, but there's uh, recipes here. Oh, I need to. I think I ran out of sand when I was making this work. Anyway, so I'll fix that some other time. Um, and then this one here, I've got patterns to cook up the assembly patterns and to cook up glass from my sand. And that just puts it in, obviously, in the top slot, and then the import bus behind it pulls it back in. So. Nothing I haven't done on the other server, it's just uh, automating stuff. And then I built a very simple 
assembler chamber um, to auto craft for me. So that is, I think, the full tour of the house. Let's go upstairs just real quick. Oops, let's turn the flight on. Whoa, a little too high. <laughs> and again, that's my flax farm. Very simple, very manual. Uh, here's my setup for bees that I've been using. So I live in the desert, so the modest bees are just here locally. And I've just got four uh, apiaries. Each apiary, you know, is going to breed. It's got a wooden engine to pull us out. I don't have gates yet, so that's why I've got wood, uh, wooden uh, engines, redstone engines. And I'm just using diamond pipes because when I built this, I did not have propolis to make apiary pipes. I'm going to replace all these diamond pipes very soon. But anyway, any uh, any bees will try and go back in the apiary to be rebred. Any combs will come down the line into the chest. Uh, need to put an ender chest here. Haven't done that yet. But yeah, so this this runs just automatically. No intervention required other than coming to grab stuff out of this chest. And every once in a while, this gets full of drones and I just come clear them out. Uh, once I get an apiary pipe, it should put my extra drones in the chest. I don't know, I can't remember. Um, I need uh, either insertion pipes or some other way to say, okay, if you're full of drones, go ahead and wrap them out. Um, or I won't really care, because they'll, they'll fall on the ground. Five minutes later, they'll disappear. That's not going to create much lag, just having like 10 drones on the ground. And I don't really need more than I have. I've got so many. The Steve's cart system has been updated a little bit, so let's go in here. Come on. There we go. Uh, so I made this bigger. Um, I've got iron furnaces here, so they go a little faster. And this is all the same. Uh, I put a sorting system in. I think I talked about that last time. So it can either pull out 32 stacks of wood and try and put them in the iron furnaces. So I probably don't need 32 stacks anymore. That was to just kind of go through it quickly. So let's do eight at a time. Uh, or it can pull out anything extra. There we go. And send it down this way. So I did, I did say um, go ahead and send extra wood down yellow. So it's if it just gets a little bit of wood, that's usually because these are full. Um, then just go ahead and send it back to base and I'll use it for wood or charcoal later or something. But this is how I got that 57,000 stacks of charcoal, <laughs> is it's just been building up here, stores a few of it back in here for my uh, cart, and puts the rest through the relay into the under chest. So it's a great system. It runs completely automated. I don't really do anything up here other than everyone saw. Make sure that this is not full. <laughs> I come up here maybe once a day just to check that this is working. Okay, to the nether, which is right here. All right, this is my nether hub. It's just near the fortress that I've shown you before. And I've got, um, these are books to other people's uh, bases, um, but they've they've built a, a nexus called Founder's Henge that I need to go book for and put it here and replace this one. I only need one book to get there, and then that one will link to everyone else. Um, but for now I've just got the Warlord's base linked. This takes me back home, this takes me down to my mine underneath my base, and this will take me to my bee setups. So let's go look at the plains bees. All I've done is I've mapped out one chunk and boxed it in. I need to put more glass up there to keep me safe, but it's the exact same system I've got near my base, but this one is just for uh, bees that like the plains. So I've got some cultivated, some forest, or meadows I mean, and some valiants going. And they're just going along, making me, <laughs> making me combs. No intervention required. This one I'm getting honey and cocoa from. And that's pretty much there. And yeah, so I've just got a spot loader, so only a single chunk is loaded for each of these, so I'm not hurting the server at all. And again, if I get too many bees in these aviaries, they'll, they will fall on the ground, but it's they generate so slow. I mean this takes forever that usually the four are dead before the next four fall out. I've never come to one of these places and seen just bees lying all over the place. It's just the way, how slow they are to generate. They've despawned by the time the next pair fly out. So this one needs a lot more glass. It's my snowy. And then I've got one for jungle as well. And same thing, I'm just doing four. 
This one, I <laughs> it'll poison you if you uh, stay too close. And I haven't even been running with them with frames. Every once in a while, I'll come and I'll put some frames in here uh, just to get more calm, especially with the jungle ones because I want Propolis uh, and Silky Whips. Uh, but, you know, I'm really just not... Because since it's so automated and I don't need them, a lot of them fast, I you know, don't need frames in there, really. So, yeah, that's my setup. I've just three chunks loaded, and I've got all my basic bees going. Um, I still need to, you know... I don't know if I really need any more marble or rocky or water. I might do some water bees in one of the four areas there. So, 20 minutes in, let, that gives us a little bit of time to play around with these guys. So, uh, the isolator, that's my first one. And you notice these have power, and it says max inputs a thousand mega, megajoules or millijoules, whatever, and it uses 50. Uh, I was concerned with that, that it meant it was using 50 all the time, and that's a lot, because I'm not generating anywhere close to 50. I think I'm generating about 28 or <laughs> less. Um, so I was really concerned that this would be a problem, but I went on test server and I put a redstone energy cell next to one of these and it uses like one megajoule per five seconds. You know, it's very slow drain. Uh, it does drain, but it's very slow. So don't be worried about putting these machines on when you're not using them. Um, it does tick down a little bit, but really that just means it like, like what wasp one energy. So let's take uh, this rocky one. I don't know if this is good. Again, this could be hilarious. You could be laughing at me saying, don't do that. Or, or, I don't know, but I'm just going to try it. I want to get his, um, a couple of his traits. So let's, let's look at the rocky one again. So he has a, I don't really care about the slowest, slowest, whatever. His flowers he likes are rocks. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, his fertility is only one, which I don't like. He has no effects, um, but I do like that his humidity, his tolerance is plus minus four, and temper tolerance is both two, which is still pretty good, but he's also a nocturnal, and he is okay to be bred in caves, so he doesn't need to see the sun, which is cool. And he can produce rock. Who cares about that, right? So let's go ahead and take him and put him in here and see what happens. Go, be, go. There he goes. Come on, isolate him. Are we using any power? No, empty vials. Okay, we need empty vials. How do we make empty vials? Again, I'm brand new to this. Don't laugh. Don't be hating in the comments here. <laughs> empty serum vials. Royal jelly. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, maybe I won't be doing this. I was excited. I knew I needed a royal jelly for the inoculator, but I did not know I needed a royal jelly for this. So it looks like royal jelly is a blocker to move into the higher tier of extra bees. So give me one second. Let me come up with plan B. Get it? Okay, guys, I'm back. I opened up the Feed the Beast wiki, which if you don't know is wiki.feed-the-beast.com and it's starting to get filled in. It has a little bit more information about bees. Um, still needs more, of course, but uh, I can find out that to get royal jelly, I need imperial bees. Imperial bees are a combination of noble and majestic. Noble is a common cultivated. Majestic is a noble cultivated. So I've got cultivated bees, so we're good there, uh, but we need to get the common line to get the noble line. Common is meadows and forests. Okay, I think we can do that. So let's, I don't want to interrupt my automatic drone production. <laughs> so let's get a bunch of uh, meadows, bees. What do we got? Uh, yep. Uh, meadows queen. Are you nocturnal? Okay, that's weird. I don't want queens. I want princesses. And a drone's fine. Okay, and with a forest... Ooh, I only got one forest queen. Interesting. I need to go get some more of those. But that'll give me a forest drone, or a forest princess and a couple drones. So, I don't need you. 
And let me get some apiaries, which are up here. I'll take four of them here. Well, we'll take five of them. <laughs> and let's go into our plain breeding area. And we got plenty of flowers. Um, so let's just stick down one, two, three. Why are they not showing up? <laughs> Four, five, there they go. Okay, so in you, I'll put the queen. You're already half dead. Are you going? Yep, good. You can have a princess, you can have a princess, and you can have a drone for now. Now, as soon as this uh, forest queen dies, I'll have some drones and princesses that I can mix, and hopefully we'll get end up with five common princesses to mix with our cultivated drones, which are here. And then we should get some nobles. I'm going to go out and farm for forest bees while this is working, and I will be back as soon as this guy's died. See you then. Okay, so I went flying around for a while and I got one hive with, with one drone, one princess. So I'm going to try and get some chocolate frames. That way I can kill them quicker and that should give me more drones faster. So just take an impregnant frame, put some cocoa around it, and we've got chocolate frames. How many I can do? That's quite a few. So back over to my bee area. Let's see how it's doing. This one I rebred uh, just to give me more. Come on, princess. Okay, so this princess with. Are you purebred? Let's see. Just make sure. Meadows, meadows. Okay, good. Meadows, princess, forest drone, have some chocolate. Forest Princess with a Meadows Drone, and you can have some chocolate as well. Are you done yet? There we go. You're a marshy hybrid, are you? I don't want that. Ah, that sinks. I don't know. I didn't check these other ones to see if they are purebred. Crap. Oh well. And now it's nighttime, so my chocolate is worthless. Let's see if this guy was purebred or not. Good, he was. Okay. This should give me some common, hopefully. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to, to breed him, and hopefully we get the forestry line and not the marshy line. Oh, where's the other drone here? Oh, I swear I had another drone. Alright, I'll steal one of these. Why are you in here, pig? Alright. Am I the only one on the server? Oh, I am. Sweet. That's rare. I wonder how fast these will die off with chocolate frames. I'm not quite sure. You know, you watch videos and people are like, yeah, it makes them die faster. How fast? <laughs> you really don't learn that till you, till you do it on your own. Maybe I need a bed in each of these areas. All right. How fast are you going to die? Not fast enough. <laughs> Come on, die! Alright. Oh, that's where my Meadows drones were. Pig. No, go away. 
All right, guys. Well, actually, it is dying pretty quick. So let me pause really quick. We'll come back and see what we get, and then one episode. Okay, guys. They have died. We did get a common drone. Okay. Let's go ahead and analyze him. He's a common forest drone. Okay. And here, that one wasn't going. This one, we got a common princess. Another forest drone. Common forest. Meadows forest. I don't like the marshy in here. That's a common. Forest meadows. Okay. And you. Ah, you didn't give me anything good. But the chocolate frames really did work fast. When they say fast, it's fast. It's less than a minute. Forest meadows. Forest meadows. Meadows forest. Meadows common. Okay, well that's going to end the episode, guys. I am going to breed commons to get... Uh, oh, good, now I forgot the list. But we're going up to the royal jelly. Hopefully by next episode I will have royal jelly and we can work on the extra bees machines and start getting some serums and nifty bees and all that kind of stuff. So I will see you guys then. This has been Fun X for Feed the Beast Utopia Cubed. I will see you next time. Bye.